When you have braces on, it makes it really hard to keep things really clean and really nice. Um, and uh, as, as I discussed earlier, the, the side effects can be pretty detrimental um, if, if you're not doing that. So I want to discuss why why it's, it's so hard and, and the best ways to keep your teeth clean with braces. So you know, this is a representation of, of just some upper teeth with, with brackets on. And you can just imagine that because you have these brackets on, um, food is going to tend to want to get stuck in between the little nooks and crannies, underneath the wire, um, in between the gums and the brackets. It just gets stuck a lot easier. Now, when that happens, the food gets stuck there. Um, your mouth is, is just teeming with, with thousands of different kinds of bacteria, many of which are helpful and, um, and, are, and are good and you need them for, for good breath and, and other things. Um, but you have, you have some bacteria in there that, that are bad and the bacteria that, that cause cavities um, are, are in your mouth. And what they do, they're attracted to, to foods, um, mainly simple carbohydrates, so, so sugars. And, and they break down those foods in your mouth and cause cavities. Now, on, on an interesting side note, not many people know, um, but uh, you know, this is a good, good thing to tell at parties. Um, the way, uh, the way uh, bacteria make cavities is by ingesting these sugars. And the cavities are actually made by acid that is being produced by the bacteria after ingesting the sugars. So really, you know, when you have a cavity, it's because the bacteria use the bathroom in your mouth. So it makes it a little bit uh, more gross if you think about it that way. Maybe, maybe give you some incentive to keep your mouth clean. So how do, how do you do that with braces? It's a little different than, than your normal teeth. Now when you don't have braces, um, so we've got a set of lower teeth here. Typically, the dentist is going to direct you to, to brush in this fashion. So you, you've got an, the toothbrush at an angle and, and you're getting down into the sulcus of the gums there and you're getting food um, that, that's stuck underneath the gums um, out, out of there and getting those sugars out of there. Now when you have brackets here and you do that, you're not going to get much of that food there. Um, so what we, what we tell patients is you want to come in from the opposite angle with your braces because most of the food is going to get stuck in between your gums and your brackets. And when that food gets stuck there, the bacteria is going to collect there and it's going to, it's going to cause a, a couple different things. So what you want to do is you want to angle it this way and really get all that food out of there. If you don't do that, you know, the worst side effect is because the bacteria starts to form right around the brackets, it's going to start the cavity process there. Um, and oftentimes you'll have, you'll have a white line, and, and you may have heard this or seen this, a white line right around the bracket um, when we take the braces off. And what that is is the start of the cavity process. Um, the teeth start to get demineralized, um, and, and because of the acid that the bacteria produce, um, form that white line. Another thing that can happen, um, the food being right up there next to the gums, cause the gums to be really inflamed, really swollen. That inflammation can actually cause the, the bone in your teeth to recede, um, you can have some gum problems, some bone problems down the road because of that. So you want to make sure, first and foremost, you're brushing at the right angle. You're getting all that food and all that bacteria um, off, off your brackets there. Um, so, so that's brushing. You want to make sure you're, you're flossing and keeping things really clean in between your teeth. Um, one thing we recommend for, for getting some, some large debris and, and food particles out is uh, this little Christmas tree bristle brush. Um, this is really nice for actually going underneath the wire there. So you can do that. You can get kind of in between the teeth, um, but really in the back where you get those sticky foods stuck, those pieces of meat, um, if you just get right underneath the wire and you can just really, really dislodge that food there. Um, so, so that's a, a great way to do that. Now flossing with braces is a little bit of a challenge and you can imagine why. Now you've got normal teeth. You go in right in between the teeth, floss back and forth. You can, you can dislodge that food. With braces, you've got that wire there, so you, you can't actually floss right in between the teeth. So what you have to do is you have to actually thread the piece of floss through on top of the wire through the teeth. Now there are certain products um, that are made that make this a lot easier. Um, we'll give you a product called Super Floss. And what Super Floss is, we've got a piece right here. Super Floss is a little bit thicker, a little bit more sturdy, so we don't need a floss threader to actually thread the floss through. Um, it actually just allows us to do that. And so it gives us a, you know, a nice solid uh, end point here where we can take the floss through the brackets and just pull them through. And then once the floss is in that position, you're going to go and you're going to floss just like normal. So um, 
you know, it's, it's a little more inconvenient. You're going to have to go in between every tooth, so you have to do that tooth, and you go back and you thread it through the, the very back tooth here, and you go back and you thread it through this tooth here, and you floss each one individually. But, you know, it's a, uh, you got to be a little bit more diligent. It's a little bit harder, but it, it makes a world of difference. <laughs>